Hi guys, I'm Silver and this is a request video for Sebastian Homan who wanted to see how to clean a 1998 Furby's fur. Now I've got Toluca because we haven't seen him for a while as my little demonstration Furby. Um, so for cleaning their fur, obviously you can't get them wet. They're not like gremlins but nearly because they will malfunction. Um, so you've got to try to do it like in as dry as you can. Um, so you can use a brush, like a little toothbrush, for um, just cleaning dirt out of the fur. So if you go around, you know, the all dirty bits to begin with, with this, it sort of gets the, the dirt out of it um, and anything like that with the dry brush. Then if it's got staining on it, you can damp the brush under the tap, just make it damp and very gently clean the staining off. You can also use like a tiny tiny little bit of shampoo just a tiny bit because you don't want to be getting soap out of the Furby and you don't want soap stuck in the Furby. If you do put a little, little bit of shampoo or even washing up liquid on the brush and use it make sure that you rinse the brush out with water and then put water on the brush just to sort of tease out the uh, soap as well because you don't really want a soapy Furby. It will dry okay but if you can get as much of it out as you can, then it, it'll just be a bit better. Um, you can also do this on the mane and things like that. He does have slight discoloration here, which I could clean, but in all honesty I don't see that it's um, urgent enough to do that. It's just from where he's been held by people. He wasn't new when I got him. He's got, as you can see, a little bits on his ear here, which is uh, something called rust. And clothes and things can get rust. It is a type of mould, but it's not like a bad type or anything like that. It's just discoloration in the um, in the clothes and things. It can spread, although spreading is quite slow, and it depends where you keep them. There's a lot of factors. But you can also get a damp cloth and uh, or soap it up a little bit. So just damp the ears a little bit. The ears they can be got slightly more wet than the fur because they will dry more easily. So uh, if you just use the cloth on the ears and then soap it up again and just very carefully. You can also use, if you live in the UK, we have something called Vanish. I don't know whether you guys in the US have this, but it's just a stain remover. So you can use that, a gentle stain remover for clothes. Um, and just get the little bits and pieces off if there's any discoloration there as well. Also the damp cloth is very useful for the eyes. Or you could even use a Q-tip or cotton bud and just, you know, get in nice and close to all these bits with a damp one of those. The feet are the same. The feet aren't really electrical or anything, as we know. They're just there. So you can get them slightly wetter than you would the rest. But don't get it soaking wet because, again, it won't dry. They've got stuffing inside them. Um, if you do get them damp, put them in a a warm room or something like that, don't put him on the radiator because he'll probably malfunction. Likewise, don't leave him out in the sun. If you're going to put him out in the sun, put him in the shade so that he's still out in the heat and the warmth, but not in direct sunlight because, again, he'll probably malfunction. They're quite delicate inside. So that's pretty much how I would clean one of these. Um, I hope that it's helped. If anyone else has got any other ideas, feel free to leave them in the comments and help other people if they want to clean their Furbies as well. This method also works for any other model of Furby. You can use it, you know, obviously don't get them too wet and you can use a toothbrush and whatever. I did do a video some some years ago on uh, grooming Furby Connects and brushing them and keeping their fur nice, which is also another helpful video. I'll see if I can find it and put it in the uh, link at the end. That being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. There will be, of course, some related videos coming up, as I said. And uh, check out my Silver Bee merchandise. As always, links for my Teespring Red Bubble are in the description. And uh, also, if you want to buy me a coffee on Ko-fi, feel free. And that's all for today. This is Silver signing off.